Hey there, so we're bringing you another review today, and what we have here is uh, Boisserie de la Seine's Terrace Boba. Uh, so this is a hoppy, it's sort of in its own, own style, hoppy golden slash blonde ale, 4.5%. Uh, and yeah, really famous person makes this, Yaman de Bates. And so, uh, yeah, really interesting hearing him on interviews. Please check him out it's on Chris Quinn's channel. I'll post that in a link below. So, uh, got a lot to say about this beer, obviously, but it's a Beerheads beer. That's uh, certainly why I'm reviewing. So Chris Quinn uh, from Beer Temple this is one of his favorite beers. And also the Grimm's. Uh, part of the inspiration of Castling was this beer specifically. So um, huge Beerheads. Love this beer. And unfortunately, I have actually never had this beer before. So, you know, very proud of a lot of the beers that I've tried. But I've not had this before. Not a lot of it makes it to New York. And uh, not a lot of it's fresh. So uh, this is actually bottled about five months ago. Actually, I think I smelled that. Yeah. I don't know if this is a green bottle, but it really smells skunked. So there you go. At least there's that in it. But there you go. Yeah, I already smelled it. It's, it's flowing out of the glass of um, just straight old school Heineken days. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> smells like Heineken um, college days. Yeah. But anyway, despite getting that, it is very nice on the aroma. It is quite hoppy. It's a little bit woodsy. Just maybe a little bit of citrus. It is dominated by that skunkiness, though. <laughs> it's hard to find anything behind that. There's a light white breadiness, some crackers. Mm, a little bit of spice character as well. It smells awesome. Cheers. Mm. It's very nice. It's very zippy. Uh, up front, I get a really nice kind of citrus quality. Oh, wow. That's really clean and crisp. So we'll say, <clears throat> I sort of cannot get past that skunkiness, but you know, it's actually all right. Um, there's a lot of flavor behind the beer to uh, show off. So you know, it's not only that flavor. Mm. Yeah, nice. Ooh, there's a beautiful, oh, I'm gonna stop making noises. Actually describe the beer. There is a really beautiful kind of like lemony kind of quality to this one. Not too acidic, but really leaning towards that maybe like Meyer lemon, sweet lime kind of flavor. A little bit like something you'd use in dessert. Along that fruitiness, there's um, a little bit of floral character. It hits with some spice. There is a pronounced kind of like woodsiness on the back end. Yeah, for sure. As you wait, it just has this kind of like cedar-ish kind of like, you know, woodish kind of character. It is a very light uh, beer on the palate though. 4.5%. It's very drinkable. It's a really beautiful, like light kind of malt quality that sort of shows that it's there. It's light and crackery and a little bit chewy. Uh, you know, a little bit of that kind of like drying kind of quality of a, a, a dry cracker, but it doesn't fleet too quickly. There is a pronounced bitterness on this one, which is nice as well for 4.5%. It's a crusher. For sure, it's very nice. Yeah, it does sort of remind me of Castling um, in that sense. It's like really nice and hoppy. It offers all those beautiful, uh, you know, uh, Belgian qualities, that spice, and, and but the, the yeast is actually not that forward. You get a really wonderful, it's actually not that like, it, it looks like a super effervescent beer. It moves on the palate quite well, but it doesn't have any of that carbonic bite. It doesn't like prickle the tongue really that much. It really lets the malt ride so that you really get a nice experience. It smacks on with really nice hop character. It has a bitterness to it. Would really like to see this super, super fresh and not with that skunky note. Um, but yeah, I certainly can see why beer heads would like this beer. It, it, it's 4.5%. It's super flavorful. It has everything going for it. It doesn't smack you in the face. It just has, you know, wonderful quaffability to it. Mmm. Awesome, awesome beer. Um, I mean, I'm sure I'd give it a higher rating if it, you know, again, the freshness and the skunking, but I don't know, maybe I'm gonna overrate just because like <laughs> it is a beer has beer, but I'm, I'm leaning towards liking these styles more and more and it's absolutely delicious. Mm. That is awesome. 4.5% drink tons of this. Uh, I would love to see this in cans. That'd be absolutely delicious, right? Uh, let's go with the 93 on this one. Cool. Let's go with the 93 on this one. This is Taris Boba Extra Hoppy Ale from Brasserie de la Seine. If you've had this beer, please let me know. Post in the comments below. Let me know if you've had a skunk bottle, but... Woo. Anyway, until next time, guys. Cheers. Later.